As the whale descends, keep an eye on the gauges, the heart rate, lung volume, blood oxygen, muscle oxygen, and lactate. In addition, be aware of the pressure of the water and the lack of light at depth. There are a few main points I would like you to note during this simulation. The overall theme is to think about the physiological adaptations marine mammals have evolved to be efficient at finding their prey, which exists below the surface of the water, and breathing air, a requirement of a mammal. Since sperm whales are one of the deepest divers, we use them in this simulation to show the extreme physiological limits marine mammals are capable of. Worth noting is how dark it is in the ocean at depth. Note the change during the whole simulation of the color of the blood as it goes from oxygen rich in red to oxygen poor in blue. At a few thousand meters, the whale levels out and starts hunting. The clicks that you hear are the whale using echolocation to see his environment. The whale sends out sound waves which hit an object and bounce back. The longer it takes for the sound wave to return, the more distance between the whale and the object. Looking at the gauges, note the change in heart rate. Bradycardia is the slowing of the heart rate during breath hold. Marine mammals can slow their heart rate while they hold their breath so the oxygen demand decreases during a dive, allowing them to dive longer. Despite bradycardia, the blood oxygen will be used during a deep dive. It will just be used more slowly. The muscle oxygen, also known as myoglobin, will decrease as well. And you'll see this with the change in color. However, the marine mammals have an unusually high amount of myoglobin to begin with, which is shown with the deep dark red color in the muscle tissue. Notice how much darker this muscle tissue is than the muscle tissue of land animals like cows that you would maybe find at a store when you buy a steak. Here you can see and hear the frequency of the clicks increasing as the whale zeroes in on the prey, stunning the prey with its echolocation as the whale closes in for the capture. So having captured its prey, the whale begins to rise. As the whale ascends, again note what happens to the blood lactate as the blood and muscle oxygen decrease. You'll be graphing this in your assignment. The whale was foraging at a few thousand meters, where no light penetrates and the pressure is over 150 atmospheres, or over 150 times the pressure at the surface. So marine mammals have the ability to collapse their lungs at depth because of this pressure. For the lung volume, note the change in the size of the lungs. Diving marine mammals are able to expire air quickly due to elastic tissues in their lungs. As discussed in your book, special myoelastic fibers close off air sacs as well, and the lungs are able to collapse on themselves. So at depth, they're completely collapsed, and as the whale rises and the pressure decreases, the lungs go back to their regular size. This allows the whale to overcome buoyancy issues that humans face from the stored buoyancy in their lungs. Diving marine mammals take advantage of the negative buoyancy from air expiration and lung collapse, so they can go to very high pressures without damage to the lungs. In addition, without risk of building up nitrogen, or what scuba divers refer to as the bends. Once at the surface, the whale will rest for up to several hours restoring oxygen levels and getting rid of lactate in both the blood and the muscle. This can be a very social time for whales if they're in groups. 